Hey guys, welcome back and today I'm gonna redo a video that I did a couple months ago. I'm gonna be recreating Clara's look from Doctor Who. Uh, like I said, the show came on, came back on like three weeks ago, like a month ago. And so far, so good. I've been loving it so, so much. Right, right when I posted the video, I wasn't really happy with what I did. So I wanted to kind of recreate also because it's almost a Halloween. And I feel like this is, this, is, this can be something that you guys could wear if you want to look like Clara Oswood. Um, and I think it's really cute as well. Like her outfit and her makeup is really easy and anyone can wear just on a daily basis. First you want to put your hair up so nothing can be in the way of your look. So I've been recording here always because I feel like if I record back where I am studying my apartment with my roommates, it's kind of weird. I have to kind of whisper. I did a video there once and it was really awkward because I had roommates walking around the living room and like I'm in my room talking. So for the base, I'm going to be doing a BB cream kind of as a uh, kind of like setting and also primer-ish. Uh, like if you guys know, I always like BB creams because it's like a lighter uh, formula and it just, I mean it does a coverage but not fully like, I don't want to be looking like a Barbie, you know? So this still covers and uh, helps even out, I guess, skin tone but it, it doesn't, you know, you still see some spots so it's like human, you know? Like you're still like any other college person or any high school middle person middle school person who has pimples and you're not lying to people so I'm gonna kind of let that set I guess and I'm gonna move in with uh, a primer and I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay primer this is because I am gonna be using a little bit of eyeshadow uh, just like on the tip and you guys will see soon you can put this all over your eyelid I guess Next, I'm going to be doing my eyebrows, and like always, I have this little spoolie from MAC. So I just use it to comb my eyebrows. Right now, my eyebrows are on fleek, if you want to say. I went to my person like a week ago, two weeks ago, like a week and a half, and um, they did it. And Clara has really thick eyebrows, so um, I, like she has like the eyebrows that start literally by like, the like if you go straight from your nose like there so I'm gonna kind of imitate that using the elf angled brush and 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 my Anastasia dip brow and um, dark brown a little bit like right here and I'm actually gonna put a dot so straight from my nose I actually have more hair here than here if that goes straight so I'm just gonna do that and be right back so my eyebrows are done I know it's kind of creepy seeing these both like really thick at the front but that's her um, that's what I'm trying to imitate so next I'm gonna go with concealers with my concealer and I have two like always I have my fit me and, and my match my Rimmel match perfection 125 and this is more of like a highlight concealer so I this I'm gonna put at the base just to kind of open up the eye today I'm gonna be using a foundation so I'm just gonna leave my concealer there for a second and for um, for foundation I'm gonna be using a L'Oreal true match and this is in the uh, warm spectrum w3 now this I'm gonna go old school and just kind of like go and apply it with my fingers oh, so I'm just gonna buff it out with my brush I am not an expert when it comes to makeup. That's more Jocelyn. I like it still. So that's why I'm kind of just sharing this look. It's kind of also a do it get ready with me video also kind of basically because I'm going to the dentist. So next I'm going to apply the fit me one around. I don't know if it's all if the perfect or correct way to put it is through thoughts or actually slam the whole thing. I'm going to take my index finger and just blend it in 
So if you, as you see, like the concealer that I, the light one that I put also kind of opens eye my opens my eye more if I put it in the middle, and that's also something that Clara, um, well the actress, the actress has like a very actually has like big round eyes, so it's like that also helps with opening your eye. Okay, so I did one eye just to kind of test it out because I don't, I don't want to have a mistake. So I'm gonna do this eye, tell you guys, so let's get started. So the Amazonian Clay Eyeshadow Palette is what I'm gonna be using, and this is by Tarte. I don't know if I said that, but it's the Amazonian Tarte Palette. And I'm gonna be using for a base color, because I did put, for like the base, just to kind of set everything, because I did use a primer, and usually when you put a primer and you put a color, it's kind of like then hard to blend the other colors. So I'm gonna go in with just a very nude color, this one over here and all over the lid so like I said it's kind of like an eye like a smoky eye but at the same time it's not it's like a halfway smoky eye really easy really simple literally took me five seconds to do this one not really but you know what I mean using a very like smudgy eyeshadow uh, pencil eyeshadow brush by elf and I'm gonna be using just I'm gonna be using a brown and this is like in the little like area for brown colors so the brown one or any dark brown that you guys have it, like if I'm doing an eyeliner so just kind of in the edges of my eye slowly packing it in try to kind of like you know put it out a little bit like this oh, like a more brown mocha color this one over here for the um half like kind of like lid slash just crease and i'm going to be using a blending brush for this and just apply it on the crease i'm gonna take just a like a very huge jumbo eyeliner and put it on the top the the waterline tight line that's the word I was looking for. You're gonna tight line, and I feel like it's easier if you have a big uh, eyeliner because it just kind of it's more easy to move the eyes, the the eyeliner. So as you see, kind of already makes the eye like more intense, more real. So I'm gonna go back with the palette, and I'm gonna pick up a the black one now for sure just a little bit with a concealer brush also from elf elf has really good really good brushes if you don't want to spend like $30 on just one and kind of just at the tip of your eye like if you're actually doing an eyeliner but you're gonna do it with this little mini tiny brush and powder just a tiny bit I don't know if you guys could actually like just like if you actually are and then this, you are going to try to take it a little bit outside. Just to intensify the color. We're going to go back in with the black, with the brown one just to bring back the brown. I got more black and I'm going to do the bottom one just to kind of smudge it out a little bit. we're gonna go back again with the brown just to bring back the browns I mean it is fall just a little bit on the top of the black one just a smudge to finish it off I'm gonna be using a um, I'm kind of kind of like highlight the front because it did like I said she does have big round eyes so I'm just gonna pick up this color I would usually go in with a foxy from naked palette too but I'm trying to use this tart palette because I love it so I'm gonna go with this one and kind of mix it in with the gold one just to kind of bring us some color but the corner the corner of my eye and then slowly picking up more just to um, then put it more towards the eyelid, actually. Picking it up more here and bringing it to the eyelid. Just lighting it up a little bit more. Taking it down. And this is the Naked Palette 2 um, brush, so. 
if you guys have a angled brush for eyeliner you can use your eyeliner and smudge it a little bit and make that like the outside of the winged eyeliner uh, kind of make it like a little bit you know realistic Makeup Forever and the uh, Maybelline volume mascara so now that I have my mascara on, I'm going to go in with my powder, and today I'm going to be using the Revlon Nearly Naked Powder with a big um, e.l.f. brush. And I'm just going to pat it, not moving the foundation that much. And I guess we can bronze a little. She did kind of have a little bit of a bronzy uh, face or like contouring deal, so... Why not? So here I'm just going to take a Wet n Wild Bikini Contest color. It has a little bit of shimmer so I'm kind of like not liking it anymore. It, did at, it didn't at first and now it does as I go in more into the product with a Sephora Finishing Contour Brush. So, in the nose. She does have a very like pointy nose. So I'm going to attempt to do the nose contour. Let's see. I've never actually done this. Pack it to where I can actually make my nose smaller. Pack it there, here, and in the middle. I just don't want to look like I've had dirt in my face. For blush, I'm going to be using a Tarte Cheek Stain, and this is in the color Flush. This is really cool because you can use your fingers, you can use a sponge, you can direct it, apply, like, you can, like, apply it directly, and, but I like to use it, like, my fingers, like these two, and I kind of just put it there, and then, it's a really, like, I don't know, it's, I like it, it's like a dewy-ish finish, so I'm going to smile, apply it, I like this one because it's, when I apply it to my skin, I feel like it doesn't clog my skin, you know? I'm not like applying like another layer of makeup or foundation or whatever you want to call it. It's more like a liquidy, like, I, I mean, I really, it's like a thin formula. So I really, really like it when it comes to like cheek stains. Um, I really appreciate how thin, I really do appreciate how thin the formula is. So I'm just going to go back with a uh, little brush a makeup forever lipstick and this is the n9 color it's like nudish so i'm just gonna apply that i'm gonna be using a stila uh lipstick and this is one of my favorites from them um armoretto just kind of a little bit now i'm gonna change actually for her look and we're basically done. So that's gonna do it all for today. I really had fun. I really had fun with this outfit. Like, how cute is it? Anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up. Comment down below what you're gonna be wearing for Halloween or what you want Jocelyn or I to teach you guys or a little tutorial. Uh, I'll have a link below to like in here a video that I did last year for a Halloween outfit that was really actually that was really really cute. And uh, yeah, until next time, don't forget to love fashion, love yourself, and love life. Bye. It's not mine, it's my sister's butt.